Today I will explain on how you can develop a consistent visual style for your videos. And while I will mainly talk about filmmaking, I feel that there is a certain overlap between photo and videography when talking about a specific shooting style. So I would say this tutorial is relevant for both photographers and filmmakers. Today's video is brought to you by the awesome team over at Artlist. They are my top source where I like to find the music and inspiration for my videos, but more about that later. And thanks to Artlist, we are taking a trip to the beach and this beautiful tropical island. And in case you don't know, this channel is about travel, photography and filmmaking. And if this is the first time you see me, I'm Eric, nice to meet you. I'm going to talk about everything, starting from the reason behind your style, where to find inspiration and how your location will influence your style and a couple of specific things related to your camera gear. All right, let's walk around a little bit more and I'll take you guys along. What's up guys, I'm here with my friends Pin and Clément and we're gonna shoot some really cool portraits alongside this beautiful beach right here. So let's go. When I started off shooting with my camera, I always asked myself, how do I find my style? And while that is a super common question, it took me quite a lot of time to figure out actually. It's not like you don't have a singular style, you're not a good videographer. In fact, you can have like many different styles and someone with a specific style is not necessarily a better photographer or filmmaker. In my opinion, style is kind of an evolving thing and that can change over time and it is a journey and it often doesn't even have a fixed destination so to speak. In my opinion it is basically an expression of you in a particular moment and a process that is built over time. So first of all let's start with an abstract question. What is style? In general I define style as having a clear intention plus some elements in your work are recognizable and that means some patterns might be often repeating. So for example, it could be a particular color palette or you could be known for using like very strong contrasts or you can be the guy that is known for using a ton of slow motion footage or it could be even something super deep and philosophical that you incorporate into your videos. So what defines the style? I think there are two main elements. Firstly, every recognizable style has a why. In other words, a strong reason behind. So let's make an example. If you are a filmmaker that makes, let's say, movies about like endangered animals to convince people to live more sustainably, that's a really, really strong why. And that will be recognizable and strengthen on how you do things in your work. Now on YouTube, most people have a why also. Someone might want to show off their lifestyle, document their travels or educate others. It really depends on the specific channel. So make sure you think about why you make the videos that you're making and that will really help you later down the line. Now after I've thought about the why, then it's time to define your how. And the how refers to different techniques and methods, color palettes, visual patterns and so on and the kind of stuff that you like to use in your work regularly. So for example, you constantly aim for symmetry or you constantly incorporate a lot of slow motion or, for example, you like to incorporate a lot of casual GoPro footage in your videos. Obviously, you're not like born and immediately know all of these things. It's a bit of a trial and error process and you need to repeat it and after a while it becomes kind of logical and automatic. All right, I'm going to explore this little island a bit and then I'll take you to the next spot and teach you a couple more tips and tricks. So let's go. Oh, 
found this random pirate ship right behind me, which is really amazing. entire discussion about style is an organic process that evolves over time. That means when you learn a new craft, you often have to try out a few different things and you tend to become a generalist first and then you find out what you like in particular and more importantly, you find out what you dislike. So let me give you an example. When I started off doing travel videos, I would initially just get like super excited and literally try to shoot everything that came in front of my lens. Then it took me some time to come to the realization that I actually prefer locations in the nature if possible and I also realized that I liked run and gun filmmaking and wanted to utilize natural light rather than hanging out in the studio all the time and shooting there. It's getting a little bit windy here so let's sit over here. Each video has a particular type of DNA that makes it recognizable and that typically consists of music, colors and in general pacing or in other words whether your videos tend to feel calm or rather hectic or even a mixture of both. So let's talk about all of these aspects. The first tip is about music and brought to you by my friends over at Artlist. When producing a video then the choice of music plays a super, super dominant role. Music these days is kind of like the brand identity for your channel. So remember like the TV shows like sitcoms back in the days. They always had some really catchy music right at the beginning of the show and that made it super recognizable. And it is the same concept for your YouTube channel. It doesn't mean that you necessarily need a corny jingle or something like that at the beginning but a cohesive style of music is pretty important in my opinion. My go-to choice is usually Artlist, who are kind enough to make yet another video possible. They have a really cool service that I have been using for more than three years now. So if you check out the Artlist platform, you will gain access to thousands of songs that are tailored for YouTube creators. The way I usually like to pre-select songs on their platform is by filtering through different genres or using the spotlight function. If you limit yourself to only three or four genres of music, then your video will soon start to feel a lot more cohesive because you're not all over the place and the music becomes more recognizable. The Artlist platform will then start to suggest music that is based on your previous download behavior and that means your style will become more defined. If you are interested in a subscription to a cool music licensing platform just like Artlist, then only $9 per month will allow you to download unlimited songs and use them in your production. If you want to use the music for client productions also, then I can recommend the Pro plan right here. And last but not least, Artlist have recently introduced a new product called Artlist Max that doesn't only offer music, but also stuff like presets, stock footage and even editing software. That means if you upgrade your plan, you basically got everything you need to develop your own style in your video productions. So make sure you check them out. And once again, thanks to the team at Artlist for remaining a partner of the channel. Makes my life so much easier to have an amazing brand on board that helps me to create and execute my creative vision. Okay, when shooting cinematic videos, then you have to make a decision on how it is supposed to look like visually. So ask yourself the question, do you like bright, saturated colors or do you want it to look a bit darker and moody? A good starting point is asking yourself, what movies do you like? So for example, I'm a fan of Christopher Nolan movies. So you could look and see what colors are predominantly used in Christopher Nolan movies, for example, and then ask yourself, what emotion gets conveyed and then you could maybe adopt certain elements 
and use it in your own style for your own videos. It doesn't mean that you will copy a certain artist, it just means you are inspired by the colors or composition or whatever other thing. However, in general, I would recommend to avoid looking at other YouTubers too much because often people subconsciously copy certain things and then their work tends to look way too similar to the big YouTubers out there and that's not really the purpose when searching for your own style. Let's head to the next location. All right, the next important element is pacing, frame rates and the camera type that you are using. I personally think a video has a completely different look and feel if it is shot on a GoPro or a mirrorless camera and if you don't have a camera that can shoot slow motion, so 120 frames per second kind of thing, then maybe you will most likely tend to create a bit more fast paced music and visuals instead. If you have lots of drone footage that looks super majestic and slow, then maybe you need a much slower video pacing and that will kind of become part of the DNA of the videos you like to create on a constant basis. And to a certain extent, the type of equipment you have available will dictate the style of the videography quite a lot and might be a good indicator of what gear to invest in the future. And finally, on to the bonus tips. Tip number one, make sure you practice a video style that is easily accessible for you. So for example, if you live in the mountains and go on, let's say like hikes all the time, that's a great foundation to have a lot of outdoor and landscape visuals present in your video. And make that part of your identity and you know what your channel is known for and your style eventually. But if the same person would want to incorporate, let's say, a ton of tropical locations like this or underwater video even, he would probably struggle a bit because he doesn't live nearby the beach and only has much fewer opportunities to practice in an environment like this. That doesn't mean you can't become an amazing underwater videographer eventually, but start off with a style that is nearby your usual environment Practice until you feel ready for the next style and then expand your portfolio and skill set. Plus, the more and more you practice, the more and more you can mold it into your own personal style for your channel eventually. And lastly, practice makes perfect. I mean, it is useful to think about the style for your videos in a theoretical sense and try to plan that ahead, but at the end of the day, you've got to do a bit of trial and error to see what works best for you. So keep on trying and keep on reiterating until you eventually find a style that is recognizable for your channel and matches perfectly for your videos. That is it for today. If you have a friend who might benefit from these tips, then feel free to share it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should totally consider because that way we can hang out more often. And with that said, have a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one.